to talk about the slope of an equation or slope of a line using the slope formula. So here's our slope formula and notice that M represents slope. Now why does M represent slope? I don't know. Some mathematician made that up, but I always relate it to a mountain. So if you see M, M's for mountains and mountains have slope. And here's our equation. We're going to take Y2 minus Y1 on the top of our fraction and X2 minus X1 on the bottom of our fraction. So let's um, kind of work through this example. I'm going to label my ordered pairs as X1 and Y1 and then the second pair is X2 and Y2. And again these are interchangeable. I could make this top ordered pair X2, Y2 and this bottom one uh, X1, Y1, but I just label them just the order they're given to me. Now I'm going to plug it into the equation. So I'm going to take my Y2, which is my negative 2, and I'm going to subtract my Y1 or my 4. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the X coordinates. My X2 is positive 1 minus my y1 or x1 is positive 5. So here's my equation. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So I have a negative divided by a negative which is positive 3 halves. All I did right there was reduce by 2 to get positive three halves. Okay, so I've run through that example. Now let's look at the rules. Uh, the easiest way to work the equation of uh, uh, the slope equation. So the first thing you can do is I like to label my coordinates as x1, y1, x2, y2. Then I just take those and I plug them into the equation for slope. And yes, this is for m. M is for mountains, mountains have slope, and so M is the slope equation, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And then I just simplify that. In our example, we had two negatives that simplified to a positive, and we could reduce it. So let's look back one more time at how to work it out. Okay, first you write your equation, then you label your coordinates X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And then you just plug it in to the equation in those spots. You have to be a little bit careful with your signs because slope is finding the difference between the x and the y coordinates. So you are subtracting. So you subtract, and I rewrote those as addition, simplified it, and reduced.